Hi everyone, now that we've learnt about the power rule, I'd like to spend a couple of minutes to learn about the derivative of a constant, so f of x equals to k, as well as the derivative of x. So let's go right ahead. If a function f of x is just equal to some number, which I'll go ahead and call k, then its derivative function f dash of x is equal to zero. And I'll go ahead and box that result. There we go. To illustrate this result, let's say I give you an example. I'll just write example here. And let's say we have f of x, which equals to 3. Then without even thinking, we can go ahead and state that the derivative f dash of x is equal to 0. But now, it's one thing knowing that result. It's another to fully understand it. And here's the whole idea. If we were to draw the graph of this function f of x equals to 3, then that would be the function whose curve, or I should say line, is y equals to 3. And on an xy grid, that would look something like this. So I have my y and my x. y equals to 3 is the horizontal line whose height is 3. And remember, the derivative of a function is simply a gradient function or a slope function. In other words, the job of f dash of x is to tell us the gradient of the function at any value of x. But a horizontal line, by very definition, has a gradient of zero. And to convince ourselves of that, we can remember that the gradient, or slope, is the rise over the run, and for a horizontal line, the rise is always zero. So the gradient zero, and consequently, the derivative is always zero. So that's how to differentiate constants. Let's see the other case, which is if f of x is equal to x. Well, in this case, if f of x is just equal to x, then its derivative, f dash of x, is equal to 1. And again, I'll go ahead and box that result. There we go. And in this case, there isn't really much of an example I can state other than just copy the formula to write that if f of x equals to x, then the derivative, f dash of x, is equal to 1. But just as for the previous result, I want to make sure that everyone understands why the derivative is always equal to 1. And here's the idea. If we were to represent this function graphically, then we would do so by drawing the line y equals to x. And although we don't write it, when we write y equals to x, this means y equals to 1x. But what we have here is the equation of a line, and its gradient, or slope, is just 1. Its y-intercept, which we don't write, is just zero. But now remembering that the derivative function f dash of x tells us the gradient of our function at any value of x, it's quite clear that the derivative should equal to one, since that's the gradient of the line. And to convince ourselves of that further, if we draw this line on an xy grid, something looking like this, that's x, that's y, the line y equals to one x, is the line that passes through the origin and whose gradient is equal to 1. That's y equals to x. And by very definition, since this is a straight line, its gradient is always the same, and it's always 1. And that explains why the derivative of x is always equal to 1. And there we have it. We now know that the derivative of a constant is always equal to 0, and we know that the derivative of x is always 1. And hopefully, we now have a better understanding of why that is. And that's it for this tutorial.